Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Sunday, April 9th, 2023. It is about 12.02 p.m. here along the West Coast in the state of California, where it's going to be uh, almost 80 degrees today. Goodness, looking at some springtime weather finally reaching the West Coast after all the rain we've seen over the past few months. But that's a good thing, right? Getting us out of the drought. 3.7 earthquake down here off the coast of Costa Rica. The latest earthquake listed up here on the Earthquake 3D globe. For the Earthquake 3D map here, showing that movement, uh, kicking up here around the southern end of the Middle America Trench down around the El Salvador area. Also Guatemala uh, seeing a little swarm of earthquake activity. Mostly fours it looks like, including the latest 4.5 earthquake on the map let me bring up the earthquake 3d globe here uh that 3.7 that i was just pinpointing out is again further south of this area looks like it's around the costa rica area uh just on the plate boundary there so this whole area definitely showing quite a bit of uptick here today uh, and overnight so we'll watch this for some potential larger scale movement uh the caribbean plate here definitely looking very active not only in terms here up against the Cocos Plate, which is this very small plate, Caribbean Plate over here, uh, shown some signs of elevated activity as well around the Puerto Rico area with about 36 earthquakes in the, in the uh, last 24 hours. Quite a few of those in the last hour up here. Uh, so things definitely rocking and rolling out here around the Caribbean Plate today. Definitely be on guard with this uh, movement taking place out here. Uh, also, the West Coast, we did see a 4.0 well off the coast of Oregon into the uh, Blanco Fracture Zone, about 10 kilometers deep for that earthquake. This movement should apply a little bit of further stress within the areas of the Cascadia, more likely the Northern California region. Uh, we did see a 2.9 early this morning. It looks like about 3 o'clock or so. 19 kilometers deep the extreme southern end here of the cascadia actually almost looks like it's right on that triple point junction here between the uh, juan de fuca plate the north american plate and the pacific plate uh, the mendocino triple point area all right let's see what else we have pacific northwest relatively quiet uh, the remainder of california down here looks about uh, average right not a whole lot of unusual activity taking place a couple earthquakes in the last hour or so uh, looks like 1.9 coming in offshore near the Santa Cruz Islands area. Also here on the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault. Got a smaller microquake coming in within the last hour near Parkfield at 1.9. And as we head down further south, <coughs> excuse me, still seeing some activity kicking up around the San Jacinto Fault Zone. And a little bit of movement really close here to the southern end of the San Andreas Fault Aside from that, a um, little bit of movement here off the Imperial Fault. Nothing going on on the Brawley Seismic Zone for now, which is an extensional fault here of the San Andreas. The southern end looks um, quiet for now. Rest of the country, not a whole lot popping out here. A little bit of movement across Texas and Oklahoma. It's been kind of that way for the past few days. Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up here on the map, so... Let's uh, see what we got here for the Yellowstone area. Stand by for just a second. There we go. Yellowstone National Park. The overview of the seismograph stations here. And it uh, looks like it's a fairly calm day out here across this area of Yellowstone. Really not seeing any uh, major uptick, any, any moderate earthquake act activity either. All right. Rest of the country, as mentioned, pretty quiet. There's the Caribbean plate activity. South America, a couple of fours from last night. Let's see what we got here for today. Well, speaking of it, kind of spoke that into existence. The latest quake just popped up there in South America, 2.8 uh, into the quiet area. Looks fairly quiet for now. Um, but it may be picking up here. We'll watch this migration, see if it's going to migrate further south along the plate boundaries, 2.8 um let's see the big island of hawaii out here relatively calm conditions a couple smaller earthquakes being reported across the big island it's uh, very typical though for standard background activity nothing major going on uh, across the alaska area roughly about the same there's that earthquake uh, from yesterday at 5.1 a 
Things a little bit calmer up here today, though. Not a whole lot of activity. One earthquake. <clears throat> Goodness, 5.3, 10 kilometers deep off of the Mariana Trench area. Now, this is a, this is a little odd earthquake, right? Away from the plate boundary, uh, but within the Pacific Plate area. Let's see what we got for historical data as uh, far as um, earthquake activity historically. Of course, the plate boundary, you're going to see where the most earthquake activity has taken place there on the map. You can kind of follow those plate boundaries. But this earthquake that struck today in an area that really doesn't see too much movement looks like towards the northwest here. Uh, but it, and of course, that's up around the Mariana Trench area. But uh, yeah, a little odd one. Let's see what we got for the past seven days here of earthquake activity. Not a whole lot taking place above 4.5 within this area. We did see a little deeper movement uh, in the northern end of the Mariana Trench, but this area has been awfully quiet uh, recently. That could be a sign there of things starting to build up regionally around the Mariana Trench, so watch that. Um, let's see what else we got across the Fiji area. Nothing really going on today. <clears throat> we do have one earthquake that's missing off the Earthquake 3D globe. That's going to be a 4.9 from yesterday it looks like early evening yesterday time frame near the Vanuatu area 138 kilometers deep uh, aside from that things look a little bit mellower today um, across the Fiji area still somewhat elevated around the Philippine plate the western side here it's going to include areas around Taiwan and the Philippine trench a couple fours and threes it looks like and let's see what we got here. Another earthquake coming into the India area. It looks like 3.0. There's some of that movement into the Java Trench area from this morning. We were watching that uh, kick up here yesterday. It looks like it's kind of uh, picking up there overnight. Quite a few fours and fives in that area near the Andaman Sea. It's a pretty good swarm of earthquake activity. Looks like this kicked up uh, just after midnight last night. Remember yesterday, we were looking at some fours out here, kind of spread out um, equally across the Java Trench north of the uh, Sumatra area as well. Uh, so this may be, may be building towards something, or it has been building off um, for the most part. It's been relatively quiet in terms of large-scale movement near the Andaman Sea. I do want to uh, check out the historical data for this area. Let's go... 6.5 and above and we're just going to look at historical data here from the earthquake catalog book since about 1900 it's a pretty cool little feature you can draw anywhere out here on the map you can do the worldwide if you wanted to but we don't need to look worldwide for now i just want to see what's going on up here around the andaman sea far as historical data goes with the swarm kicking up that could give us an indicator of what's uh what's out here or what could be out here. Uh, stand by here for a second. Let me see exactly where this is kicking up at. Right around this area right here, it looks like, where that swarming is occurring today. Closest earthquake shows a 7.1 back in 1964. <clears throat> Some other earthquakes as you get closer here to the plate boundary. Looks like another earthquake here back in 2010 is 6.5. That's uh, north of our swarm area. Remember the swarming area that we're seeing today is within this region. So we'll watch that pretty closely. A lot of times these fours and fives um, can lead to something bigger. Uh, and oftentimes it does. I don't really see any main earthquake here, any main earthquake sequence. So this could be pointing definitely towards a, a larger movement quake in the area. Watch that today. Eastern Afghanistan at 4.1, way deep, 181 kilometers deep there. The rest of the world here across this area looks fairly quiet, but we know that's not entirely the case. We do have some smaller earthquake activity around the Turkey region today, some twos and threes it looks like they're listed on the map. Atlantic Ocean, aside from that one earthquake yesterday, which is going to be a 5.1 from earlier uh, in the evening, Actually, I think the Earthquake 3D globe may be off a little bit. Let me see here. Let's bring this back up. Last 24 hours. There we go. 
so that kind of adds more of the earthquake movement here across the Middle America Trench and Puerto Rico areas. Definitely watch that. Pretty good swarming around the Caribbean. Got a 2.2 coming into California currently as we speak. Things are definitely ramping up out here. And that 2.2 coming in just off the uh, creeping segment here of the San Andreas Fault. 13 kilometers deep. It's still underneath an automatic status review, so this could get revised. Most of the time, these deeper movement quakes do get revised to a much shallower uh, earthquake. So uh, either way, 2.2, the latest quake there on the map. All right, rest of the area. Uh, again, down here around the Kermadec Trench, fairly quiet. Not a whole lot going on, at least being reported. Uh, so let's go to the GeoNet servers and find out what we have. A couple days ago, had a couple earthquakes, it looks like. Mostly smaller microquakes here in the last couple hours. I'm not seeing anything major blasting off here as far as um, large-scale earthquake activity goes. And a qu quick uh, glance here at the earthquake drums. will probably confirm it. These are all uh, seismograph stations across the South and North Island, New Zealand area with the respected locations there in the red dot. So, yeah, not a whole lot going on there across New Zealand currently. All right, uh, moving on for the space weather activity. Let's go to the uh, Solar Ham site. We do have this massive new regional sunspot here on the southeastern section of the sun that uh, is growing fairly nicely. It will be rotating into view providing us with a shot of maybe an Earth-directed flare and subsequent CME. But also a new sunspot region up here, it looks like, that's starting to grow. Uh, it looks like it popped up out of the blue overnight. Actually got two new ones, one here and another one up here that could be uh, developing quite rapidly as it rotates here into the center disk of the Earth-Sun plane. We'll watch that closely. Also around the northeastern limb up here, uh, we got uh, a new sunspot kicking up. Southeastern limb, definitely noteworthy to watch that uh, large sunspot. 3272 with an overall threat of 95% chance for a C flare, M flare at 50, or uh, 30, excuse me, and X flare at 5% chance. So we'll con continue to watch that. The X ray flux chart here showing mostly C flare activity. Uh, that one almost reached into the M flare. We had this uh, kick up, it looks like, overnight. Uh, but for the most part, mostly seas kicking up here onto the sun. All right, I uh, think that's about it, folks. Going to be about 77 degrees today here in Northern California, so I'm going to get outside and do a little bit of uh, yard work and weed eating and whatnot. Take advantage of this beautiful day. It's supposed to be 80 tomorrow. Um, again, this is some of our warmest weather that we've seen so far this year. It's been cold and rainy and wet and uh, I think this time last year, we actually had our first 90 degree day by now. If I remember correctly, looking at my memories there, uh, we had like 92 degrees yesterday, this time, you know, last year. So uh, warmer weather slowly creeping here into the West Coast. We'll take a look at the weather forecast a little bit later on this evening, see if that uh, warmer weather will stick around. All right, folks, enjoy your Sunday. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on tonight. Take care.